Hi, my name is Brant Thurgood. I'm the owner of Jill's Office. As a small business owner, I'm excited about things to come. Obviously, we live in a time of difficult things that are going on. Um, and understandable, we see it on the news, we see it in social media, we see it everywhere. Um, but I just want to talk to you business owner to business owner right now. Um, as I've been seeing what's going on, I've been listening to my employees and just hearing all the fear and all the uncertainty going around. Um, I have been talking to my employees and I just wanted to let them know that everything was gonna be okay. That at Jill's office, that we were gonna strive to help our employees uh, feel calm and feel peace and making sure that we, me as a business owner, strive to make sure my business does everything possible to help the community and to help the people around me. I feel like as a business owner, I have the responsibility to help my community stay calm, to have peace, to have joy, to keep living their normal lives, obviously understanding that there's other things going on in the world that we do need to be aware of. But again, living our life and understanding what's going on. Business owners, we have a responsibility to our community to make sure that the community runs on, to make sure that we still live our lives, that we know that we are happy. You know, obviously there's other big box stores and other things like that um, that do affect our community, but when it comes down to it, it's a small business owner and the person spending the money who is our friends and our family to make sure that this economy of the government is moving forward. I, as I was sitting and talking with my team this morning, uh, we wanted to create this video, not to talk about what Jill's office is doing to combat COVID-19, but to talk about how we at Jill's office can spread joy in a time of uncertainty. That if we change our mindset that, yeah, we do live in uncertain times, but we can still have a business, that we can still support each other and we can still support small businesses, that we can be successful and be successful together. Obviously, there's a lot of people affected right now with what's going on in the country. But here at Jill's office, we've had one of the busiest weeks ever we've ever had. People are still calling into our to our calls and people are still getting, like business, people are still spending money right now. Jobs are still being booked. Uh, spring is still sprung. Um, that has not changed. Obviously, people are a little worried about spending money because of the uh, watching the market go down, the coronavirus and other things, and watching supermarkets be emptied with toilet paper and and goods but guess what they will be restocked I have faith in that I have faith that we as small business owners as we work together that we as we bring joy to our community that we can bring peace to our community that we just keep working striving to do the best that we can um, as small businesses and work together to keep our community strong because in the end of the day that's what we can do we are entrepreneurs we are the lifeblood of this nation we help things stay and stick, and we use the clue uh, of, of everyone bring it together and make it all stick. One thing I wanna talk about is a company that we support here at Jill's office, a local company here in Utah. Um, he's a cleaning company, but what he does is after he gets done cleaning homes um, and washing windows and all these things that he's being paid for, he takes his crews on his own dime and he goes to local parks and he cleans the playgrounds for free to make sure that the community knows that he supports the community and that the spread of germs will be smaller in those areas, that kids can play and parents can know that, that they're clean. These are things that we can do to support our community as small businesses. Um, again, I just encourage you as a small business owner, smile, wake up, work hard, do the things that you did when you wanted to start your business. Have that same joy, making sure that we plan for the future that we plan for what's coming, but at the same time that we live our life. We don't need to live in fear. We need to live with having joy, with optimism, that we work forward to help other people, that our businesses can survive and thrive. And I know that if we all work together and that if we all can be optimistic and have faith in something, that we as small business owners can help our communities, help our businesses, and that we will overcome these challenges that face us at this time. Again, um, I just hope that you can have peace in your lives, that you can share peace with others. I encourage you to talk to your friends, spread joy. Thank you and have a good day.